welcome students today's we are going to study the protection of plant varieties and farmer right acts that is ppv and efr act 2001 myself professor as ratod department of genetics and plant breeding kk wag college of agriculture nasik so uh, let us see we start from the what is the act that is uh, it involved in the uh, which uh, actually formed in the year of 2001 protection of plant varieties and farmer right acts pvpfr act 2001 was approved by the government of india in 2002 for uh, but came into force with the effect from uh in the month of january in 2005 the act aim to provide for the uh, establishment of an effective system for protection of plant varieties and the right of farmers and the plant breeders and to increase the development of new varieties of plants so this is the uh, scientific uh, involvement uh, that actually in that the uh, uh, ppfr a act 2001 the uh, important provision of the ppfr act 2001 uh, actually uh, these all uh, provisions are important importance uh, in respect or in relation with that the conservation and the protection of that the uh, rights uh, privileges of that the farmers and the uh, different plant builders the farmer rights researchers rights builders rights community rights uh, gene funds and uh, recognition awards benefit sharing compulsory license national gene bank and field uh, gene bank plant variety journal infringements offences and that the penalties does centers special labs and the projects then convention countries these are the some objectives of uh, ppfr act 2001 to recognize and protect the right of the farmers to encourage the development of new varieties to stimulate the investment for research and development by public and private sectors to facilitate the growth of seed industry uh, to ensure the availability of quality seeds so this is the some uh, 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 objectives uh, uh, in, uh, recognize and protect the rights encouragement uh, for the development of new varieties then uh, stimulate uh, the investment for the research and developments uh, in that deep uh, public and the private sector uh, that is and then to facilitate the growth uh, seed industry that is the uh, growth and that the seed industry uh, encourage uh, to the uh, builders for the development of new varieties stimulate investment in that the uh, research in the public and private sectors and that the organize protect of that the rights of that the farmers these are the some general functions of that the authority registration of new extant and the essential derived varieties plant varieties developing a does a test uh, guidelines developing uh, characterizations of the register varieties compulsory cataloging of facilities for all varieties a documentation indexing and cataloging of the farmers varieties recognizing and reward the farmers and farmer communities engaged in conservation and the importance then preservation of plant genetic resources of the economical plants and their wild relatives these are the registrable plant varieties in india farmers varieties means varieties that has been traditionally cultivated and evolved by farmers or land races in common knowledge of farmers means uh, these are the commonly land races varieties uh, that is the uh, Yeah, uh, from the ancestors to these uh, still uh, days, the same varieties uh, uh, grown by the farmers. The next one varieties uh, is a notified varieties of the or farmer variety that is in a public domain. Means commonly uh, all farmers uh, use that varieties. Then new varieties or uh, varieties which is not in public domains. Uh, that is, uh, these are in the uh, pipeline of that the uh, uh, different. research and the different uh, their multiplications and their the trials and the essential derived varieties means a variety which is essentially derived from existing varieties means which derived varieties we uh, we 
we should derive from the uh, existing one then criteria for uh, protecting the plant uh, varieties uh, to be eligible for protection the plant varieties must follow uh, these are the different criteria that is the ndu yes that is the novelty distinctiveness uniformity and that the stability so this is the uh, selection criteria for the uh, varieties then who can uh, file application for the uh, protection of their own varieties any person claiming to be the builder of the variety any successor of the builder of that variety any person being the assi uh, assign of the builders of the variety any farmer or group of farmers or a farmer community claiming to be the builder of the variety or any university or publicly uh, funded agriculture institution uh, claiming uh, to be the builder of the variety so uh, next that is the period of protection uh, for how much year uh, we uh, should protect the our variety the period of protection of for field crop is 15 years and the for trees and the vines is 18 years and for notified varieties it is 15 years from the date of notification under the section 5 of seed act 1966 then annual fee has to be paid every year for maintaining the registrations and the renewal fee has to be paid for the extended period of registration the penalty uh, penalty for applying uh, false uh, d uh, nomination of a variety is imprisonment up to 2 years and or fine between uh, 50000 uh, uh, to the 1 lakh rupees for falsely representing a variety as a registers in imprisonment up to 3 years and or <coughs> fine uh, between 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees the next the which uh, different uh, rights uh, granted to the uh, different uh, persons they are engaged in that the uh, development of that the varieties that is builder rights researcher rights and that the farmer rights mean these are rights are protected under the pp ppv and efr act 2001 the uh, this is the uh, application form for registration of new varieties so this is the this is the sample uh, form that uh, actually uh, should Uh, be filled uh, by the uh, that builder or that the any persons regarding for the uh, registration for the protection of varieties that is the identified of the applicants it is uh, either it is the individual or the builder or the successor of that the uh, that variety the builder from the institution uh, convention uh, country or from the any other country so this is the uh, sample copy of that registration Uh, form for the uh, application for the protection of uh, plant varieties so this is the uh, list of certificate issued by pfar uh, authority uh, in the different crops groups fiber crops cereals uh, fiber crops uh, then say different cereals then uh, name of applicants applicant category from the private sectors uh, Uh, some farmers from the state agricultural universities uh, year of filling applications uh, then application number uh, certificate issue date and period of the protection these are the some uh, the centers in india uh, total 150 dust centers in india does for cotton uh, as a sample we uh, given here uh, lead centers uh, director of research uh, is sir uh, that is uh, cotton research center then collaborating centers uh, seed center national seed project uh, krishnagar us darwad uh, collaborating centers punjab agri university business session uh, dabwali road uh, batinda in punjab then collaborating centers uh, aicrp for cottons in mpkv rahuri uh, district ahmednagar collaborating centers uh, for regional station uh, murutta malai road in koyamtur then collaborating centers icr central institute for cotton research uh shankar nagar in nagpur these are the some dose centers for rice lead center at uh, indian institute of rice research is uh, rajendra nagar in uh, hyderabad uh, now in i think in telangana uh, collaborating centers for crop improvements uh, divisions icr national research rice research institutes uh, vidya dar uh, pur farm katak then collaborating centers department of plant uh, breeding and genetics uh, jorat 
Collaborative Centers, uh, Department of Civil Science and Technology, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University in the Dikoyam Tour. Then Collaborative Centers, uh, IRI at the Regional Research Station, uh, Kunjupura Road in Karnal. Then uh, Collaborative Centers, uh, the uh, Langol Road, uh, Sinnam Laikai, uh, Thangamani Ban, Impal in Manipur. And the Collaborative Centers, uh, ISR Regional Station uh, in Jarnapani, uh, Medji Panam in Nagaland. So these are the some different dust uh, testing centers for rice and the cottons. These are the some regional offices of uh, PPFR uh, authority. Uh, computer and center building near uh, Damodar International Guest House, uh, Birsa Agriculture University Campus, Kanki in Rachi. Assam Agriculture Uni University near uh, Arunsastu building, Khanapara in Guwahati. And Agriculture University, uh, Himachal Pradesh, Palampur uh, District, Kangra, Himachal Pradesh. Then uh, Central Ne Building College of Agriculture Campus Mahatma Phule Krishi the Pit Pune uh, Rauri in the Pune. Then um, UHS uh, Shivamoga uh, Abalagata Post Shivamoga in Karnat Nataka. So uh, by this way we uh, studied the what is the protection of plant varieties and farmer rights acts which are the different objectives of the protection of plant varieties, which are the uh, different functions of the protection of plant varieties authority, uh, different penalties and punishments for uh, falsely provide the information uh, regarding the protection of plant varieties. Thank you.